Hello everyone, it's I, Wacky Anime What If here, here to present you with What If Issei Had Venom, Part 1. Let's go ahead and get into it. The What If starts with Issei heading to Kyo Academy. He decides to take a shortcut through an alleyway. Not the smartest thing, but Issei isn't known for the smartest choices. And from the shadows of that, of that alleyway, he sees a fat man. Like, he was so fat, he looked like an oversized bowling ball. Just the size of a human. <laughs> and immediately seeing a skinny man next to him that looked like Jack Skellington. Immediately Issei says, oh shit, I love that movie. This is Halloween, all that shit. That, that was really dope. He looks at the Jack Skeleton motherfucker. He says, what you talking about? He's like, oh, you're, you're Jack Skeleton, right? He says, no, my name's fucking Steve. <laughs> Immediately, Issei sees the fat man literally just point a gun towards him. Issei just says, oh no, nah, I'm not running them pockets, but I can run you a breath mint probably. I just gotta go to the, you know, dollar store, tubby. Follow me, I can go get you that breath mint. <laughs> and Issei just starts mocking them. As he does, all of a sudden, the fat man just says, you know what, I'm about to shoot this motherfucker. And then... From above, they see the shadow of Batman, and as he lands behind Issei, they see it's not Batman, it's Fat Man! Who the fuck is Fat Man? <laughs> like, they just see the F symbol, like, on his emblem, like, on his chest, and he's just wearing white spandex. <laughs> as he says, don't worry, citizen, you're safe, because Fat Man is here. As... Steve just looks directly at Fat Man, looks at Jake, which is the tubby one, and says, Yo, this shit too weird for me. He starts start trying to run. As Steve tries to run, Fat Man just, like, slings a white liquid towards... <laughs> towards Steven. And it hits him, and he falls right towards the wall, just, like, stuck on it. He's like, I, I really hope this isn't what I think it is. He's like... Fucking, fucking help me, Tubby. As he sees his Tubby friend just rolling away. Like, not even walking. He's just rolling his fat ass away. He's just like, oh, hell no. Every man for themselves. And he says, I'll remember this. <laughs> Issei, seeing the whole interaction, just walks away and thinks, oh, why, why do we gotta have Fat Man? Why Kyotown gotta have Fat Man and Gotham gets Batman? Why couldn't we just swap places? Like, for real, that's just so embarrassing. And, like, what the fuck? For real, what does he use? What is that white stuff? As Issei just keeps thinking about this as he's going to school, he just <laughs> thinks, oh, shit. I almost got robbed. I got saved by Fat Man. I wonder what else is going to happen today. And as he makes it into the school, he sees his two friends are absent. So he just goes to class. And as he does, he takes his seat. As this is his first day in this school, he just moved here. He didn't even know what to expect, but he sure didn't expect when he put his head down to sleep that he heard a fucking voice in his head, like a dark fucking voice, a muscular manly one, saying, Hello, I forgot to introduce myself, but uh, my hello, my name is Venom, and I'm inside you. Issei all of a sudden lifts his head up with the what the fuck face and screams, Oh no, nah, who the fuck said they were inside me? <laughs> all of a sudden, Issei notices everyone is just staring at him and some are laughing. He then sees the old teacher up front write his name on the chalkboard and start to introduce himself as Mr. Herbert. He also knows he is Mr. Herbert Mother. I'm not inside anyone yet. This causes Issei to put his head back down as he hears the voice in his head laugh at him. It time skips to lunchtime as Issei is seen in the lunch line. When he gets his food at the front of the line, he notices the old lunch lady with wrinkles all over her face. Fucking give him a wink. Just winks at him. That sent a shiver down his spine as he... Ran out the cafeteria so fast he left smoke behind him. Everyone saw him do this and one kid behind him just said, Hey, he vanished just like my dad did. Back to Issei, he's still running up to the rooftop and he just decides to eat up there. He gets to the best part of his meal after he's done chowing down. He was eating that like he hasn't eaten in days. 
and he notices the best part of his lunch is the cookie. Then he sees a black goo-like hand appear right from his side, form a face, and just fucking steal his cookie. Issei looks at it and says, Put the cookie down! As he sees the gooey hand just has the cookie. <laughs> Venom just slowly puts the cookie closer to his mouth and eats it. As Issei is just on the ground, jokingly mourning the loss of his cookie. He then thought, wait up. Who the fuck are you? And he just looks at Venom. And then he notices that Venom has tentacles. And he thinks, I have seen too much hentai and I know where this is going. I don't want it to go there. Issei starts hauling ass, trying to run away from Venom. Forgetting he was attached to him. As he says, oh nah, get the fuck away from me. <laughs> he hears Venom say, oh uh, as you heard before, my name is Venom. I do have tentacles, but I swear I would never do what you're thinking, you perverted bastard. <laughs> Issei just wipes the sweat from his head and says, Oh, thank God. Uh, Issei swears he heard some other voice say you're welcome, but he decides just not not to think about that. After all, he already has one voice in his head. He doesn't need another. <laughs> he looks at Venom and says, Did you hear that at least? <laughs> he sees Venom just looks at him with the What do you mean face? Issei decides to ignore it and walks back to class. During his classes, he notices a short kid with white hair and golden eyes just staring at him the entire time. He was thinking, who let this 12-year-old in here? And why are they staring at me so intensely? After multiple hours, when the end of the day, like the end of the day, day's bell just rang, Issei noticed that the kid was chasing him, and as he was running outside the building, he heard the kid say, Why are you running? <laughs> After multiple hours, Issei finally lost the kid and went to Taco Bell. He notices as he ordered two rice and beef burritos that he heard a conversation in the back about a guy fucking burritos. <laughs> Immediately, Issei looked at the man at the cash register, seeing them awkwardly look at him. He... Issei just says, I don't want them burritos anymore. You can have them. And when I said extra sour cream, I didn't mean that naturally made. Like, what the fuck? <laughs> Issei hears the man at the cash register just say, I, I think just Frank is back there just joking around. He would never fuck a burrito. All of a sudden, Issei just hears loud noises from the back and Frank screaming, I'm fucking this burrito so hard. Issei says, are you sure about that? Nah, I'm good. He just starts running out of the Taco Bell doors. As the customers see him running, they just think he has to take the shits. He thinks that the Taco Bell just gave him the shits when he's just running away from the guy fucking the burritos. And that's where this what if ended. Sorry that it was so short, but I just wanted to go ahead and have something to entertain you guys. I hope you all liked it, though, and I'm definitely going to continue this series. It's going to be chock full of jokes, and I hope it all entertained you, and I hope I got a few laughs. See you all next time.